So today we're looking at Nintendo 64 or N64 using LaunchBox and for this set of guide I'm going to be using RetroArch. I'm going to show you how to download a core for this and I'm also going to select uh, one of the best cores for RetroArch. I'm going to go through file extensions of what your naming convention should be for your games. So check this one out. <laughs> Okay then, so as I always say at the start of my videos, if you like what you see in today's video, hit notifications and subscribe and like it gets you up to date content as I release it and it really helps my channel out. So we're looking at N64 today, so obviously released in the mid 90s, it competed against the PS1 and the Sega Saturn. Uh, but anyway, let's look at this. So um, first of all, I'm going to show you which extensions I'm going to be using for this for my games. So in my N64 folder, and I recommend that you put your games into a dedicated folder like I have, I have got GoldenEye 007 and Super Mario 64, so two of the N64's best games. And uh, these are in .z64 file extension, and they're going to work fine with Moopun, which is the RetroWatch core I'm going to be loading these with today. And the other file extensions that Moopin through RetroArch supports are .n64, .v64, .bin, .u1, .nwd, and .gb. But I'll leave the link for this in my description so you can see for yourself. So what I'm going to do first is just assume that you've got LaunchBox 13.6 already installed, which is what I'm using today. That is the latest version. So let's just load up LaunchBox 13.6. And if you're new to LaunchBox, I have got a comprehensive setup guide for that within my LaunchBox playlist. You can also find a link to that in my description alongside other LaunchBox setup guides, which I've done. So we're inside LaunchBox and I'm going to just assume you haven't got RetroWatch installed. So let's just get this installed quickly. So we're going to go to Tools, Manage, RetroArch and download and install and that's going to get you the most up-to-date recent version of RetroArch. So just let this do its thing. And while that's downloading and installing, I'm going to just show you where this is actually installing to. So by default, this is going to go into the same directory as where LaunchBox is. So normally if you've installed this onto your C drive, which is standard, to find where RetroArch is, it's just a case of going to your C drive users name of your computer and you'll find launchbox just here and if you go in here and then emulators retroarch is downloaded into this retroarch folder and we sometimes need this one uh, a lot of systems rely on bios files for retroarch which go into your system folder but anyway enough of that what we're going to do now is actually start the import process so what i'm going to do to import my games into launchbox is go to tools import rom files and this is going to bring up the import roms wizard uh, so it's just pretty much a process of just pressing next uh, now, the next part of this is select the files to import, press next here, and the next screen you're going to see, or rather a window, is where you want LaunchBox to put your games. Now, I'm going to leave my games in their current location, which is on the desktop. I don't want LaunchBox to move them around, so I'm going to just left-click on Use the Files in their current location, and make sure this next part is checked. That's going to find metadata, uh, so different bits of information about our games, uh, and press Next. Now, the next part here, I recommend selecting most of these if you're a premium user of LaunchBox and using Big Box. If you're just using the free version like I am, then, you know, just select a few of these. And just be mindful that a lot of these are kind of fairly big in terms of size. So I'm going to check all for this and just press next. And I'm also going to press next on this part. And I don't want bezels. I just want this as having the black sidebars on my gameplay for now. Press next. And next again. And we're ready to import our game. So as you can see, we got GoldenEye 007 and Super Mario 64. And their extensions are .z64. And we're going to press next.
So I'm going to just check out GoldenEye 007 and I'm going to just highlight this one and just go to play and just let this load up. There we go. And we're now in. As we can see that's running perfect now we also got the option here to save and load so most n64 games will load and save but just in case you want to save at a point where you're running out of time and you need to do something what we're going to do is just go to quick menu six <laughs> and if i go back to quick menu again and just drop down to load state <laughs> And there we go, it's that simple. So that's it for my Launchbox RetroArch and N64 setup guide today. So if you like what you see, like I said at the start of the video, just hit notifications, like and subscribe so you don't miss upcoming content that I release on my channel, Just Jamie. Also be sure to join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro. Bye.